Welcome back to another video. First video of 2023. Slow start to the year. We're already a couple of weeks in. Um, sort of my first bigger weekend of riding uh, after the Christmas break. We're on the we're on the gravel bike again, trying to get to Featherston, up over the hill in the Wairarapa, and I'm on the Rimataka Rail Trail. So enjoying a gravel start to 2023. My road bike is actually in 100 pieces at the moment, getting a bit of a full rebuild uh, with some new handlebars and some bits and pieces. So of course, it's taking longer than expected. Sort of starting to miss it actually, but gravel bike's been going good. The rain's been all right. I've had some pretty average weather this week. So I'm really hoping for some sunshine today, which I think it should do. Let's go get it. Rimataka rail trail into the mighty wire wrapper. Uh, it's actually really hard to film this. Had the descent with the little handheld thing here, so sorry to show you that one. But yeah, counted a whole bunch of runners, which is a little bit awkward, but we got through that. Uh, it actually ends with like a really neat little kind of like single track sort of section before you pop out onto the gravel road here. And then a little road section to Featherston, so really nice over here at uh, Lake Ferry um, just always stunning in the wire wrapper but yeah I gotta admit kind of missing the northern gravel that I was on the other week um, totally different sort of riding when it's more single track and rail trail type stuff and yeah I know it was really good the other week in Northland so it has really changed my perspective of gravel and I just yeah I guess what I've been doing has been Kind of what I've been showing you, this sort of gravel, single tracky type riding, which is like, it's fun. Um, but it's, it's interesting riding, it's interesting, like it's an interesting training ground kind of thing. And yeah, I don't know, just being such a roadie and enjoying the kilometers and the I guess the constant pedaling. Um, there, are, there are times where I've sort of struggled with gravel and to, to really enjoy it. and. Like today was going to be one of my longest gravel rides that I've done in a long time. Just because I've never, it just felt like gravel was just the short, punchy, commute on the bad days kind of bike. Never really got into anything long endurance, which is what most people get gravel bikes to do in other parts of the world. So, yeah, New Zealand gravel is still working itself out. Um, might have to explore a bit more of that a bit further in summer and the wire app is really the place to do that um always hard traveling to ride rather than just from your doorstep but yeah might have to branch out all right we made it now the hope there is a cafe. It is early. I don't know. I think we're still 10 to 8. Okay, return leg now. Um, it's a little bit longer to Featherston than I had remembered it was. So a little bit time pressed getting home. Um, had a lovely almond croissant and uh, coffee at Baker. In Featherston, really, really good little spot, and we're really fortunate they were literally opening as I got there. And the other cafe, which I was kind of expecting to go to, um, they were on a long holiday, so I was very lucky that something was open. Otherwise, it was going to be a bit of a, a dairy Coca-Cola and cookie or something. So yeah, I'm a bit of a push now. Um, we still haven't got the sun out, 
It's a little bit disappointing. I was hoping to be able to ditch the, the G lay by now. Should be a bit quicker home. And I definitely need to be. Still lots to do at home, <laughs> of course. All right, put you on. Almost at the summit again. Um, this is a very hard climb to do easy, and I'm trying to keep these roads easy. Um, definitely rougher on this side of the hill, so people ride right this way. Just be wary once you get over the summit into the Warrapa side. She's rougher, she's steeper, a little bit more rugged. Gives you really good insights to what the trains and stuff would have had to have dealt with, and yeah, it definitely wasn't all straightforward um, when you look into the history of it and stuff. So. But, it's a lovely day, it's now warming up, getting to the swing bridge, and it's pretty much downhill home from there. Whew. section coming back down from the summit on this side it's always super fun it's really like pretty shallow gradient but it's nice surface so it's fast one way to store your glasses when you can't see in the tunnel but guys three hours in now not too far from home so we will end this one here Stay tuned, because this week I am going to throw all the details at you about my big move with the family this year um, in October. So stay tuned for that. Keep it simple, guys. We'll talk soon. Cheers.